and your, your project. Hi, my name is Supriya Jhuliwala. I'm from India and I'm working uh, with communities to save a highly endangered bird called the lesser florican. Why are you working, first of all, why is this bird highly endangered? Because its numbers have fallen more than 60% in the last 10 years and there are less than uh, 2,000 left in the world and it's mainly because of habitat loss and uh, it's losing its habitat because uh, people are converting grasslands where the bird is found into farmlands and uh, also due to hunting because uh, uh, wherever the bird was, if a protected area was declared, people didn't want a protected area because they lost land. So they started hunting the bird to get rid of it because they felt that if the bird goes, the protected area won't come. Well, you talked about that the, the, it's being because of hunting areas and the bird is being... Um, if this is being protected, why isn't the government doing anything to protect this land? Well, uh, you know, there are some species that can be conserved with designating a protected area, for example, the tiger, because they are confined to a habitat. Now, this bird, it is protected by law. It, you can't hunt it legally. And it is, but you cannot conserve it within um, uh, within uh, a protected area because it's very widely spread, like over hundreds of kilometers you may find three or four birds and it lives with people like it eats in fields and it breeds in grasslands so uh, for to conserve this bird the gov you know by declaring protected area is the wrong strategy even if the government does it it won't work because it antagonizes people so what we need is we need to uh, have a, a strategy that is more landscape and more with communities. So we have to get communities to like this bird mm -hmm. and to want to protect it and we've got to incentivize that. So how are you doing this? How are you working with communities? Uh, we're helping the government promote a scheme uh, where uh, if the bird is found in your field, you get a reward of uh, 5,000 Indian rupees, which is equivalent to about 100 plus US dollars, which would be about uh, one month's earning uh, for a villager in India. So it's a pretty substantial amount. So that is one. Second, uh, what we want to do is we feel that the community should take ownership for the bird. Mm -hmm. And you're the you know, the bird is good for the community. It eats insects, so it's not a problem bird mm -hmm. by itself. Mm -hmm. So uh, we feel that the best way to do is create leaders within the community who will then go on and uh, spread the message for us so that this entire project is not completely dependent on us. So we're trying to find youth and other spokespeople in the community who will train in leadership and they'll make everyone else fall in love. Have you had much success so far? Um, uh, it, depends, you know, in an area where land was not taken away from people, this project's been successful, people are reporting birds, claiming rewards, and the birds turned into a local pop star. Uh -huh. But in areas where uh, land was taken away from people, uh, it's not worked because obviously they, there's a conflict of resources here. So when you're fighting for your livelihood, you're not going to like something that's taking away your land. So it's not worked there. So, so there, what we're trying to do is get the government to, uh, with the with the help of the forest department, get the government to uh, realign the boundaries of the sanctuary so as to give people their land back. Mm -hmm. So, contrary to what everybody else is trying to do, that is create protected areas. We are trying to create for this species more of a community-based protection thing and say we don't need a protected area. Where can I get more information on this project? Yeah, uh, you could go to our website. Uh, and uh, you can go to my blog. <laughs> and, uh, um, uh, what is that website and blog's address? It's www.ceindia.org. Uh -huh. And uh, I don't have a blog, so whatever. whatever. I, yeah. And, <laughs> and uh, you could write to me if you want more information, and this is my email address. Okay, thank you very much.